I'm flying alone with the kids to Kansas City. <laughs> Do you remember Kansas City? The kids are playing with some of their favorite toys one last time before we leave. So what are you working on this morning? I've been designing a lot of houses recently. With your graph paper? Mm -hmm. So all this dust is actually coming from Africa. What? Yep, from the desert over there. But that's over the ocean. Yep, so that huge dust storm comes across the Atlantic Ocean and then is here in Puerto Rico. That's crazy. It's called a Sahara dust storm because the dust is actually coming from the Sahara Desert. So the camera doesn't pick it up real well, but it is super dusty out here. Caleb is helping me pack up the van. We are yeah. in major packing mode. We're gonna start loading stuff in the storage unit today. So this morning we're packing up, getting ready. Caleb's working right alongside us because he absolutely loves that kind of stuff. And he looks at me and he goes, I love moving. I wish we moved more. And I laughed out loud. I'm like, buddy, we move all the time. And he was like, no, we don't. It's so fun. We should do it even more. I just love kids' perspectives on life. And I'm so glad that he enjoys this adventurous, weird life that we're living. So here's the spot. We're gonna be loading all of it into this area. We're actually sharing the storage unit with some other friends that are also gonna be off the island for a couple of months. It was a pain to acquire all bikes here and it's gonna be a pain to store them, but we have loved having them. Riding along those paths in our neighborhood has been some magical family memories. So the places that we've lived here in Puerto Rico so far have both been furnished, which has been really wonderful. So we don't own furniture, but we own everything else. We own all the kitchen stuff here and all the bedding and the towels and the bath mats and toys. And so all of it just kind of really adds up when there's seven people in your family and books. We have some books. Let's get this party started! <laughs> The kids decided that they wanted to do a disco dance party. I always love when they come up with fun things to do all on their own. You wanna do it? You're not feeling like the dance party? Guys, you're welcome to our party! <laughs> you sure? Come on! I'll take care of the music. Do you wanna go dance? And he's joining in. Where are we flying today, Janae? To the airport. Oh, we're flying to the airport, and then where's the airplane gonna take us? Kansas City. Do you remember Kansas City? Mm-hmm, Kansas City is awful. But it's still <laughs> more fun there. Janae, do you remember Kansas City? What do you remember? I love that. Do you like flying on airplanes? Mm-hmm. Um, no, of course it's on the airplane. Nope, you just buckle in the big seat, huh? Mm-hmm, because it's dangerous to be in a car seat. Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. I did that before when I, when I was a little kid. Okay. But when you were a little kid. So we're finishing packing. The kids are watching some old J House vlogs of Kansas City. Yeah! We're going to be doing a summer camp reunion. And what's crazy is we're like watching this and we're like, we're going there today. Yep. 
I still can't watch old footage from our old house without getting emotional. It's hard. I miss the footage. Load up, we're heading to the airport. We're trying something new this trip that we haven't tried in a really long time, and I'm a little bit nervous about it and really excited. I'm flying alone with the kids to Kansas City, and Jeremy is staying here in Puerto Rico for the next couple of days to finish up on this house. Last time we moved and traveled on the same day, it was so exhausting. Today I am flying alone with all five kids, and it's gonna be awesome because that's the only choice there is, is it's gonna be awesome. We have family meeting us when we arrive in Kansas City and then we're staying with friends and so I know it's just, it's just a flight. We can totally do this. The kids are getting older too, so hypothetically that means they'll be more helpful, maybe. This home has been our coronavirus home. I will literally never forget our time here. It's just been such an interesting part of life and history even. We have been quarantined here in lockdown for weeks upon weeks. And this home was such a comfortable home for us to be in during that time with the backyard and the trampoline and just the layout of the house really worked well for us. Having our bikes and our piano and Jeremy had an office. It just was a beautiful, safe, happy place for our family. We've had friends come and play with us here and there's just lots of great memories, Christmas and birthdays. I feel like every time I say goodbye to a house, I'm saying goodbye to a little tiny piece of my heart. I don't know why I get so attached to places, but I really do, so. Helicopters are not safe. We could get hurt. Helicopters do not have seat belts. Oh, I think helicopters do have seat belts. But wait, I will not have a seat. I will not have a car seat until not you hold my hand before I fall off. So what you're telling me is you want to ride on an airplane, not a helicopter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you think of helicopters? They're not safe for me. Yeah? I'm kind of scared of helicopters. So should we take an airplane today? Mm-hmm. All right, we'll take an airplane. Sometimes go to people's houses and fly to them. Yep, sometimes. On the way to the airport, we are talking about wearing masks and how unique this is. We have traveled lots of times, but we have never had to wear masks the whole time we travel. And it is required, and I'm grateful that it is required. And we're talking about why we're wearing masks, and that it's to keep us safe and to keep other people safe. And we're talking about how it's required. Just like the seatbelt might not be the funnest thing to wear, you still have to wear it. And for, and for minutes, that can be a long time. Is it gonna be We're gonna say goodbye to Jeremy. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss my little bub. <laughs> the face mask kiss. We're gonna see him in just a couple days. Luckily, it's not super long. We'll see him in three days. Bye, Dad. Bye, Daddy. 
and thus it begins. We have nine hours of travel, two flights, one layover, five kids, one mom. All right, we've got all the stuff. We got through security, yay! Everybody's buddied up. Well, it's a crazy feeling to be flying out of Puerto Rico. We are going to miss it while we're gone. There's the airplane. We, we need to get on a plane. Okay, put your mask over your nose. There we go, great job. This is actually going better than I thought so far. Well, we made it through security in record time. So now we've got time to wait, which is a super fun thing to do. I got new toys and bubble gum, my favorite gum. In your backpack? Mm hmm Little wardrobe change. I brought two masks for the girls and apparently it's fun to switch. So we put all the snacks in one giant Ziploc bag, so it was easier to get through security, and now Elise is packing them, passing them out. Laura, snack bag. Our plane's not here yet. It's a little bit delayed, which is always a bummer. I hate delays. You hate delays? Waiting's hard, huh? When you wait, you can play. Sing or imagine anything. These two found the tiniest ant on the floor that they are watching. There's our airplane. What's that? That's it. It came. There we go. Good job. We're waiting for the family boarding. But it's not our turn yet. Not our turn yet. In a long time, we're going to get on it. Yep. Airplanes walking, and then it goes faster, 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 flying. Do you remember flying before? Yeah. All this waiting, and now it's happening. Well, the Is it kind of itchy? Mm because I've been with it so long. It just feels normal now? Yeah. Okay, we're on a layover in Orlando. We've been through this airport a lot of times. It's our favorite stopping point on our way to and from Puerto Rico and Kansas City. So we're gonna eat some Chipotle because it's gluten-free. Kansas City, Southwest. And how are there so Well, we just found out that our flight is boarding in four minutes and Chipotle is closed. So, it's time for plan B. Yeah. 